Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing great in your life and in your studies also. So in this video, I am going to share IBPS PO main strategy and I will tell you all the ways how I cleared this mains examination in my first attempt itself, okay? And first of all, I want to inform you that there is 25% discount going on on Smart Kida and this is valid till 22nd of October, alright? So this is the maximum discount they are giving and if you are planning to buy their test series, then it is the best time and you will find the link in the description and the code is fast 23 so if you will use this code you will get 25 percent discount so now we will start the video first there is english and then there is rc and miscellaneous so i will suggest ki you should use the main smoke test okay and from the main smoke test try to attempt at least two mains level rcs on daily basis and then i used to do the around 20 question of miscellaneous on daily basis all right and now for the main smoke test i would like to tell you now you i think you would have a question in your mind that whether we should attempt the main smoke test or we should solve it so so it is your call if your speed is good then you should attempt the mock test but if you think that the marks demotivate you as the mock test have very higher level than the real examination so then you can just solve the questions all right now the second thing is di all right so di also you should practice and for di's i would suggest you to revise your arithmetic basics because in means the di's are of arithmetic so i suggest you to revise the arithmetic basics all right from your notes and then you should attempt the di's okay like if you are doing a di of simple and compound interest then if you are if you are confused then try to revise the basics then there are miscellaneous questions all right i used to solve 15 to 20 questions of miscellaneous and then arithmetic also level 3 questions you should solve the level 3 questions are of mains so you should solve the level 3 questions okay from any book you have or the notes you have made you have must have made for the level 1 level 2 level 3 all right so this is it for maths and yeah the last thing is speed test do not forget speed test of number series simplification because they do not come in the mains examination but they help you in keeping your speed okay that you do not do the calculations very late so this is very important do not skip the speed test do not do not think that if prelims is over then we have to skip it no you have to continue the speed test till your selection then there is reasoning in reasoning there are two sections puzzles and sitting arrangement then the other miscellaneous questions so for puzzles and sitting arrangement i would suggest you to practice on daily basis two to three means level puzzles and two to three means level sitting arrangements all right then the other questions you can practice 20 to 25 based on the length of the questions and based on your time but minimum 20 questions should be practiced then the most important thing general aware awareness so in this section there are current affairs and static gk for current affairs at this time i would suggest you to do the monthly pdfs for six months for last six months you can use the monthly pdfs all right and they are providing question answer format or you can use the pocket pdfs all right so for current affairs at this time this is it then for static you should revise the static before the mains examination so try to cover all little portion every day and for till mains you will cover cover all the topics then there is descriptive so for descriptive many pdfs are available just search descriptive for banking mains examinations then you will see many sample essays and many sample letters and for the format also the pdfs have everything so there are many free pdfs available in telegram and in google also so try to write one essay and one letter every day all right and the sbi exams are also near the sbi prelims so what you should do first like what i used to do i will tell you that first i used to attempt a prelims level mock test in the morning if i have any other prelims prelims examination in the future okay then i used to do quants or reasoning one subject from quants or reasoning whichever i liked okay so when i used to complete one subject then i used to move to english because when you switch the subjects between easy and difficult then you are not bored okay your mind is not tired 
then after english i used to write descriptive because descriptive is easy you do not have to use that much of your mind you just have to write so i used to type the descriptive and then i used to do one subject from content reasoning and then in then ga okay ga you should like if you are taking a break from studies then you can read ga because it does not take that much of efforts you just have to do the readings and just do the revised readings all right for you should read the pdfs before the examination at least four to five times because when you are reading the things again and again then you will learn them okay your mind will store the information so this is it for this video i hope you liked it and if you want the strategy on any other examination please let me know in the comment section and if you want to prepare for rbi assistant then i am providing targets on this channel itself all right so try to follow and right now i am a little loose in the preparation because right now i am not able to cope up with the time and uh, i am not able to do the time management right now so i am trying and you know we are human beings so we should always keep trying for something better and for our betterment so this is it all right thank you and have a nice day and all the best for your examination